brought tissues for you. Okay. Do you know I'm doing short division today? Oh, we learned division the other day. So, uh, so we are going to learn short division today? Yeah. There's a short one and a tall one? Long one. A long one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so let's take a look at this uh, short division. So, it look like this. Hmm. Okay. So, let's say if we had 24. Okay, 24. And we're going to divide it by 4. Oh. Actually, 6. Actually, 6. Okay. So, so, do you know what will come next? What? The, 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 the final one is here. What is that? A 4? Yeah. So that means 6 times 4 is? 24. And 24 divided by 6 is 4. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Yeah. And then the 24 minus 24 is 0. Yeah. And then the... So there. The ah. remainder is zero. A remainder is zero. Okay, let's try another one. Well, we can remainder. 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 <laughs> remainder. 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 No! Remainder. remainder. Not remainder. 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 Let's say if we had a prime number called 11. Uh huh. 11 is a prime number. Okay. What's a prime number? A prime number is that it doesn't have any factors in except the one in itself. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to divide by two. Oh, but we can't divide 11 by two. Yeah, I know. It's not an even number. Oh, it doesn't get really good at this division multiplication thing. Remain the one. How'd you do that? There was, there was, Five twos can fit into eleven, while one is the remainder. Okay, could you tell me how the five came there? Two multiply by five is ten, and plus... Why did we take ten? Because ten is the closest thing to eleven. Well, we can have twelve. Twelve is the closest thing to eleven. Two? Well, twelve is too big. No, 12 is too big. Yeah, so if it has to be something next to it which is smaller, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's look at the next one. So, I'm going to make it a thousand. Oh, a thousand. And we're going to divide it by eight. Oh. Do you know it? No. But I can tell this. Uh, closest to eight is eight. Uh, actually, it's a thousand. I know. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. So first we take the ten. Yeah, first we take the ten. So, what is the closest? Why is it you're taking the 10? Because the 1 is smaller than 8. Oh, okay. So, we take two numbers together. So, so ten, so 8 can fit only one time in 10. Oh, so that means 1. Yeah. Okay. And, and so, so then 10 minus 8 equals... So we need to write a wait. The one one of this can fit into that. So let's write a mark. So then look the remainder. 
window is two, right? Uh huh. So twenty. Huh. So then, once we do that, then we are going. We we are going to write eight a sixteen here. Okay. So we need to minus twenty by sixteen. Ah, oh, okay. And that will give us four. Four. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. What is it? Six. Two. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Two. And then, and then, da da da. Forty. Oh, forty. So what if forty divided by eight? I think I just found 
Never lock.